Hey, what is up everybody? This is Lunatic starting off this 133 kill game with this nice little spawn triple kill with the C4 coming over here and picking up two defend kills as well with the MP7. I'm coming over here. I'm going to try to hop on a B flag on my teammate, get the capture kill, about to get my V set and I get sniped. That would have been a fast V set off the start of the game. Oh well, that's how it goes, you know, nothing I can do about that. I was trying to play the objective in this game, as you can see, but oh well, it didn't work. I still did end up with 133 kills on Overflow. I don't really have too many uh, 100 pluses on Overflow just because the map doesn't play well for me. It's hard to flank, and it's just not a very well-balanced map, in my opinion. But anyway, none of that is important. I'm not going to talk about the gameplay. I'm going to tell you guys a little story. And, you know, today is New Year's Eve. Hope you guys have some plans. Hope you guys, uh, you know, spend some time with family, shoot off some fireworks, celebrate the New Year, bring it in with a bang. And if you're old enough, hope you're, you know, going out tonight and uh, plan on drinking a little bit, partying or, you know, something like that. But uh, anyway, be safe, you know, crazy drivers, New Year's, um, New Year's Eve, people are going to be dr driving drunk, there's going to be roadblocks. But uh, more importantly, you know, have fun and, and be safe. But uh, anyway... To the story. So, as you guys know, as some of you guys know anyway, I was uh, in the military station in Hawaii. And this is, a, this is a story from one of my New Year's Eves in Hawaii. This was uh, 2004 or 2005. I'm not really sure which year it was, but it was one of those two years. Um, if I really, really think about it hard, it was probably 2005. But uh, anyway... So, me and my buddy, one of my best friends from Hawaii, we're sitting there. He was actually my roommate as well. We were sitting there on uh, New Year's Eve 2004, 2005. It was like 4.30, 5 in the afternoon, and we had no idea what we were going to do that night. And we're in Hawaii, and it's, you know, we're old enough to drink, and it's New Year's Eve, and we didn't have plans. Obviously, we want to do something. We don't want to be a bunch of losers and sit there and do nothing in Hawaii on New Year's Eve, so we um, we talked to this uh, this one girl that we both knew. She's a pretty hot girl, and she she was actually seeing this guy, and um, we ran into her, and we were like, "Hey, what are you guys doing tonight?" And she said, "Oh, we're going to Dave and Buster's." And if you don't know, Dave and Buster's is basically this like uh, arcade type thing for grown ups. They serve alcohol. You can uh, go there and play like games. They got the little basketball game. Uh, stuff like that. It's got a bar inside. Um, it's got a little dance floor. I, I think it did have a dance floor and a, a restaurant. And this was in downtown Honolulu, Hawaii. Uh, so there's going to be a lot of people there. And, you know, we were like, yeah, of course, that's that sounds like a, actually a great idea. Let's do that. So that's what we did. We decided to go to Damon Buster's. But for some reason, and don't ask me why, because I have no idea. I still can't remember why. But... The three guys, me, my roommate, and her boyfriend, for some reason, we decided to dress as girls. I have no idea why. Don't even ask me. Don't even put in the comment sections why you dress as a girl on New Year's. It's not even Halloween, right? But, like I said, I have no idea why, but that's what we decided to do because we were just, I guess, trying to have fun, try to do something different. You know, have just like a crazy good time, draw attention to ourselves, be like, you know, the, the crazy people at Dave and Buster's on New Year's Eve. So anyway, that's what we did. So let me explain our uh, our costumes. I forgot what the other dude dressed as, but my roommate was kind of like this little punk rocker, um, like schoolgirl type. He had this like schoolgirl, punk rocker, punk chick type thing going on. His wig was uh, short, black and pink. Um... He had on a white tank top and like a pink and black plaid uh, mini skirt um, and some black high heels. So that's what he was dressed as. And then my costume, my costume was like the most ridiculous shit you could possibly think of. I had a r long hair, red wig. I had a, I think like a white and red tank top. And, you know, of course we got all, the, all these clothes from the girl that was uh, going with us. So it was pretty easy. But, um. And then I had a red plaid skirt. It wasn't a mini skirt, but it wasn't a long skirt either. It was. It came up to like just above my knees. And then I had on red um, high heels, red lipstick. Uh, the girl did all of her makeups uh, for us, so that was pretty interesting. I mean, we we had nails. You know, we had fake nails glued on and shit like that. 
Um, I had my nails painted red. And it was just one of those things where it was like we went like all out for basically just to have a good time, you know. And the funny thing was none of us shaved. All, all of us had like a week off for Christmas and stuff like that. So none of us shaved. We all had like about a week's worth of growth on our beards. And uh, we didn't shave our legs or anything like that. So, you know, we kind of wanted to make it obvious that we weren't um, we weren't actually girls because we didn't want you know guys coming up behind us and like grabbing our ass all night and shit like that if you know what i mean so anyway we go down there we drive and um they the other people had gotten there before me and my girlfriend my girlfriend actually went with me and she's you know she's dressed as a normal girl because you know it's whatever she's just dressed and she was fucking hot she was like probably one of the top I say top 10 hottest girls I've ever dated. So anyway, uh, we par- we have to park and it's like, it's a, it's a good little walk. You have to walk down pretty much one of the main streets in Honolulu to get to where we're going from the parking lot. So as we're walking, everybody, all these guys are honking their horns, yelling out their windows. Like, cause me and I'm dressed as a girl and I'm with a hot girl And we're holding hands, walking, you know, they thought we were, like, lesbians and shit. So all these guys are hollering out out their windows and shit. And it was just like, oh my god, this is good. I was just, like, thinking right at that moment that this night was going to be freaking epic. It was going to be crazy. It was going to be one of those crazy nights. And, um... Yeah, it, it it lived up to uh, what I expected it to be, needless to say, which is why I'm telling the story. But, uh, anyway, um... As we uh, as we get closer, this one car, uh, two guys in it, Screech is like comes pulling up to the sidewalk, and this guy sticks his head out the window. Hey, baby, come here! So I was like, I got this. I'm gonna go fuck with him. So I, I walk up to the car. I'm like walking all sexy, like you know, like a model or some shit like that. Like walking all sexy up to this car, and these um. This, these two guys are like, hey, baby, you know, like, what are you girls doing tonight? And I was like, hey, what's up? You know, <laughs> and they realized I was a dude. And you should have seen the looks on their faces. They're like, oh, my God, I'm so sorry, bro. I didn't know. And I was like, yeah, I'm just fucking with you guys. But it was one of those nights where it was like that, w- that was um, one of the most memorable New Year's Eves I'll ever have was dressing as a girl and fucking around in Dave and Buster's. But uh, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this little story. Leave your, you know, hateful comments in the section below. Make fun of me and stuff like that. I really don't care, whatever. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And I'm out. Peace.